Hello everyone, thank you for opening this video on how to use the void spoofer, which is the best way to get unbanned on your favorite game. So let's get started. We start off by extracting the folder to our desktop, as I'm doing right here. Here is the folder, open it up. And before you do anything, open up the serial checker. We're gonna use this to compare our old hardware ID to our new hardware ID. Oh, look at that. I love void 999. I will explain how I did this later. Just click the number one right now and click enter. And it will save your serials automatically to a text file right here. You can see all my serials are saved over here. Now head back to the serial checker. Now open up void 2.95 and give it a moment to load. Oh, what a beauty of a software this is. Now, it did not ask for my license because I already am registered in the application, but once you do, it will ask you for a license key. Now, let me explain the options real quick. You have statistics where you can see when your subscription is gonna end. You have extra tabs for frequently asked questions or attempt spoofing disk drive. You have settings, which has a tournament bypass, which is really good. It's the most effective method in order to play tournaments as most spoofers do not actually support tournaments, but Void does. You have ASUS permanent, it's a beta option. And if you go in settings or custom, you can choose your own serials like I did right here. If I make this as I love Void 999, it will do it over here as well. I will do it again later. Now we go here to spoof, just click on start auto spoofing. It's a one click process. Just click on it and give it a moment. Oh, it says auto spoofing process has been completed. Click OK and then click enter in your serial checker and you can see that every single serial has changed. But no, what if I don't believe you? Let's just compare it to the old serials in our text file. Our MAC address, both of them changed. CPU changed, SIM BIOS changed, BIOS changed, motherboard changed as well, obviously. The SSD serials, however, did not change. And that is absolutely fine as no permanent spoofer in the world will change your SSD serial. If someone else tells you otherwise, they're absolutely mistaken. Now let's go off to the custom serials tab and just write, I love void and then spam threes. Please do not use this option unless you know what you're doing or if you ask us in a ticket prior. Now click on start custom spoofing, give it a moment. And it's done. It barely took a few seconds. Click OK and then click enter again and look at my motherboard. It says I love void and then spams threes, just like I put in here. This gives you a lot of options to choose your own serials. If you're not satisfied by the default ones, you can always use this. They're perfect for people who want to play around. What I also really love about void spoofer is that you don't need to save your license key because it's saved into the application itself. You don't have to put your license every single time you open it. So it's really good for long-term investments. And if one of your MAC addresses did not change, it's gonna be most probably Bluetooth. In that case, just disable it from device manager. If you're not able to, just ask us in a ticket and we will gladly help you out. And that's because Bluetooth uh, MAC addresses are actually hard-coded. They cannot be changed by any spoofer in the world. So it has to be disabled. And that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. And remember, void is always the right answer. Have a great day.